Well, crews are expected to be out in McKeesport this morning to begin tearing down what's left of a building that partially collapsed late yesterday. Megan Schiller is live near the scene this morning with the very latest. Good morning, Megan. Good morning, David. Bowman Street closed at multiple cross streets. Also, Highland Avenue, the street that runs behind this building, is also closed. We can zoom in and show you some of the debris that is still all over the sidewalk, even into the street. We are told that whenever all of the bricks and those cinder blocks came toppling down from that building, that they even hit some parked cars and did some damage to cars that were parked along the street here. Almost an entire wall fell. Part of the roof is missing. And a family who lived next door in the home that's right next door to this vacant building. They had to be evacuated. They're now looking for a new place to stay. This all happened at that old vacant building. It used to be an old school here in McKeesport. So they say that now they are going to have to bring the entire thing down. They say it's a safety issue because half of the building is still kind of standing. They don't want anyone to be injured walking by, and they also don't want the rest of it to come toppling down. So demolition crews say they will be out here in about a little more than an hour, around 7 or so this morning morning to begin that demolition. We'll be out here. We'll bring you the very latest. We're live in McKeesport, Megan Schiller, KDKA TV Morning News.